Welcome to Maundy Thursday worship together, where we are at many tables, but tonight we are at one table together. Um, welcome to this Maundy Thursday, where we will be exploring our theme of um, that you are deeply loved in the washing and the feeding, that God is present with you every day, in every meal, and in every time we uh, approach the basin of washing. Tonight, um, we'd like to invite you to have a few things with you um, to help you participate in worship. Um, if you already have your dinner plate and you're eating dinner right now, that's great. Um, if you'd like to bring an empty plate or a bowl with you as well, um, that will help later on during the message. Um, and also, if you would like to have a bowl of water and a towel, whether it's for your hands or your feet, um, there will be many opportunities or many varieties of opportunities for you to do that later on. So with that, um, welcome again and um, take a moment to breathe deeply, sit up straight, and be aware of God's presence in this moment with whoever you're with, whether it's by yourself or with others. Um, or within the presence of our digital community right now. And we will begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of all mercy and consolation, come to the aid of your people, turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit that attentive to your word we may confess our sins, receive your forgiveness, and grow into the fullness of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Gracious God, have mercy on us. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. Uphold us by your Spirit so that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins, through our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you in all goodness 
and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. with you. God of life, source of all love, awaken us to your presence this day, this hour, this moment. Just as Jesus used the everyday ordinary means of supper together with his friends, and then a basin and towel to wash their feet, come to us in the means of grace we hold every day. Open our hearts to know how you are loving us and lead us to love each other just as you love us. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Gospel According to John Now, before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this, from this world and to go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe and tied a towel around himself, and then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? <clears throat> and Jesus answered, you do, not know, you do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. And Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. 
Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. And Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. And Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. And for this reason he said, not all of you are clean. After he washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their masters, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed, if you do them. Now when he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give to you a new commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Have you noticed how quickly the dishes have been piling up lately? I'll bet many of you have noticed this to some degree at least. Whether you find yourself in a house full of newly homeschooled kids, by yourself, or anywhere in between, you are most likely eating most, if not every meal, at home. And the dishes are piling up faster than you can do them. I swear Andrew and I have done dishes at least 20 or 30 times just in the last week, and there's no dishwasher in our house. No joke. No matter what level of cook you consider yourself, even if you're doing more takeout or delivery, you or someone in your household is probably cooking more, doing what you can to make sure that every stomach gets what it needs every day, every meal. And then you wash those dishes again and again so that the pattern can repeat. My thoughts have been centered lately on how God is constantly with us in the daily rhythms of eating and washing. The very rhythms of Maundy Thursday. I heard somewhere that our bodies are designed to eat every three hours that there is daylight. I don't offer this as fact, but as a clue to, into how God has created us to need God and how God's love comes to us so physically, filling us not only in spirit, but in our bodies. Tonight, I'd like to offer you the prayers written for the Supper Church liturgy we used a couple years ago as a way for you to take some of your meals whether that be in the cooking or the eating or the cleaning up, or all three, as a reminder that God is present with you in every meal and in every time that you wash, whether that be your face or that growing pile of dishes. Take a moment to pause and reflect. Did you just have dinner? Are you preparing to eat after this? Perhaps you've even got a plate of something delicious right in front of you now. Whether you have a full table or you are by yourself, if you are dining with others via video, whether you have a plate full of homemade lasagna, a bowl of hot soup, or perhaps takeout, 
few crackers and cheese, or even ramen. Whatever you have, God is present with you, filling you not with only with nutrients for your body, but love for your whole being. If you've got your dinner, you're invited to take this time to pray over your meal now. If you've got an empty plate, use it as a touch point to receive these prayers and bless a meal you've had today or one you've yet to consume. Or just receive these prayers in the moment as a reminder of how God is constantly reaching out to you in love and surrounding you in care. When we get to the part about blessing our dishes, I invite you to extend this reflection on how God is present in every washing, even with the basin and the towel of our Monday Thursday service. My Lutheran Confessions professor encouraged all of his students to remember our baptism every time we wash our face or every time we drink a glass of water. And so just as Jesus loved his disciples as he washed their feet, so you can remember that any act of washing, including washing all those dishes, dishes you've got in the kitchen, is an act of love, a way for us to humble ourselves and care for one another. Tonight, you may also choose to wash your own or another's hands or feet while you listen to these prayers or after the service. Bless the basin, the water, and the towel that you have with you. Remembering our own baptisms, we bless the basins, the water, the towels, in order to bring God, in order to recognize God's presence in this moment. Whether it is our own hands or feet that are washed or someone else's, let it be a remembrance that we are strengthened in the love of the one who humbled himself to be a servant, the dancing servant whom we serve. Now I'll take you through the, the liturgy. It's mostly prayers of blessing and gathering people and ingredients. Um, so for the first part, for the cooking part, uh, gather whatever uh, elements you have for the meal, whether that be um, onions and potatoes or, or, or meat and legumes, um, a meal from scratch, or even uh, pieces from your takeout meal, or a box of mac and cheese. Um, this is not a time to judge whether what you have is um, good or bad, but to recognize that whatever you have is God feeding you through God's good creation. So once you've gathered all of your things together, pray this prayer. God, you are the creator of all before us. You inspired seeds to germinate and grow, feeding the earth with light from the sun and rain from the sky. You created animals that would sacrifice the fruit of their own bodies for our own nourishment. As our other hands have brought this food before us, guide our hands as we join in your work of creating a meal that will sustain our bodies and souls. Open our senses to the wonder of your creation made into the nourishment of our faith. Amen. And before you begin, place a hand on whatever you've got before you, whether it's uh, food, ingredients, or the tools that you will um, be using, or if you're cooking with another person, their hands, and bless it with these words. Gracious God, bless the means of grace before us, moving in, through, and with us as we cook this day. Thank you for each ingredient and food present here. Thank you for the hands we have and the tools we will use. Open us to do this work with joy and humility. Come, Lord Jesus, feed, fill, and bless us and this abundance, that this may be a part of your work feeding, filling, and loving all people. Our second part is the eating. Uh, gather around your table. Um, 
if you if you are eating alone this night, know that the saints surround you in spirit, um, or or ask someone for a Zoom dinner or one on Facebook, or also just revel in dinner alone. That can also be really wonderful. Pray these words together. Gracious God, as we gather around these tables, gather our hearts to you and to each other this day and always. As you have already done in the planting, nourishing, harvesting, and cooking of the food before us, be made known among us in the breaking of our bread, the fullness of these plates and this moment of eating and wondering. Come now, Lord Jesus, creator of soil and sun, Come now and open our hearts to the ways you are planting, nourishing, and harvesting us. Amen. And during this time, you are invited to fill your plates and begin eating. Um, you can take the time to do some readings, uh, whether that's lectionary readings or something else that's given you um, good courage through the week or something that's been challenging and, and uh as deserving of good conversation. Um, feel free to sing together too. Um, and once you are all satiated and uh, your plates are empty, um, and before you clean up, gather your hearts together and pray these words of blessing uh, over the hands that will wash and the basins of water. Gracious God, you have fed and filled us. Bless us now as we continue the good work of cleaning up. Bless these hands that wash dishes, clean tables and floors, and ready this space, yes, even this space in your home, for God's furthered ministry in everyday moments. Bless the wash basins and dishwashers we fill, the soap we use to scrub, the water we use to rinse as we wash dishes again and again for ourselves and for others, connect us to one another in deep mutual love. Nurture in us a posture of joyful dancing and humble service in everything that we do so that we may love others as you love us. Amen. Thanks be to God. pray with me. Turning our hearts to God who is gracious and merciful, we pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. God of love, unite your church in its commitment to humble service. 
Make us your faithful disciples. Speak words of truth and grace through us. Encourage us in self-giving acts of kindness. Let us love one another as you have loved us. Hear us, O God. God of love, we give you thanks for all the ways your creation becomes your love for us. Nourish the earth, all of its flocks and fields, and guide those who tend them. Hear us, O God. God of love, you give us a new commandment, to have love for one another. We give thanks for organizations that are responding to the needs of those affected by the pandemic. Strengthen all healthcare workers and other essential workers who are tending to the sick, the dying, the grieving, and the poor. Hear us, O God. God of love, give ear to all who call upon you for any need of body or spirit, especially those we name before you now in the comments section. Provide for those who do not have enough to eat, those who are unemployed or underemployed, and those who rely on the generosity of others. Hear us, O God. God of love, you invite us to your table of mercy. Heal all divisions between members of this assembly. Extend the, the hospitality of this table beyond these walls that your love and welcome be made known to all. Hear us, O God. God of love, glorify your servants who walked by faith in this life and who now feast with you. Inspire us by the sacrifice of those who were imprisoned, persecute, persecuted, or martyred for their faith, especially Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Hear us, O God. According to your steadfast love, O God, hear these and all our prayers as we commend them to you through Christ our Lord. Amen.
end and the beginning. God is God. Filling the folk with the gifts of the Spirit, making them whole for the good of the earth. For all loving acts, for each meal shared, for this place and this time. Thanks be to God. For the peace we are promised which the world won't destroy. Thanks be to God. For the hope of heaven and the final song of joy, thanks be to God. O oh God of life, of all life and each life, we lay our lives before you. We give our lives to you from whom nothing in us is hidden. You are before us, God, you are behind. You are around us, God, you are within. O God of life, O generous spirit, renew us with your life tonight, tomorrow, and always. Creating, giving, and sustaining God in our times of need, may we find a table spread in the wilderness and companions on the road. May we know the fullness of your presence at every meal and in all our sharing. Amen.